Welcome back to math we know. Solve the value of a from this equation. First the power of a is the minus to the power of a is equal to 1. How should we solve it? You must have noticed that 4 is the square root of 2. 4 is 2 squared, and then it will become 2 squared and to the power of a minus 2 to the power of a is equal to 1. x to the power of m and then all to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m then times n it is also equal to x to the power of n and then all to the power of m and everyone should remember this formula. Now 2 to the power of 2 and then all to the power of a it is 2 to the power of 2 times a minus 2 to the power of a is equal to 1. Go on, use it. 2 to the power of 2a it is 2 to the power of a and then all to the power of 2 and then minus 2 to the power of a is equal to 1. Very good. Because here it appears 2 times 2 to the power of a. So we have to substitute. We can let 2 to the power of a is equal to t. Or maybe if you want, you can substitute it as u or x. It's up to you, not me. And then what should we do? This equation will become an equation of t. t squared minus t is equal to 1. Subtract 1 on the both sides, and then it is t squared and then minus t minus 1. It is 0. 2 to the power of a is equal to t because 2 to the power of a is always positive. So t is always positive. It cannot be negative. And then we have to only solve the positive root of this equation. That's okay. So the value for t, t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 and then all over 2. And then what should we do? Substitute it in to the power of a is equal to t. 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And then we have to use logarithms. We can take a natural log on the both sides and then you can get the natural log of 2 to the power of a is equal to the natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 and then all over 2. This a is on the shoulder of this 2. Put it in front of the natural log of 2 so it can be written as a then times the natural log of 2. And then this is the natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 and then minus the natural log of 2. Here, I have two formulas. The natural log of x to our y is equal to y then times the natural log of x. And the second formula is the natural log of x divided by y is equal to the natural log of x then minus the natural log of y divided by the natural log of 2 on the both sides because it cannot be 0. Okay, the natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 then divided by the natural log of 2. It can be written as The logarithms 
of 1 plus square root of 5 to the base 2. And then minus the natural log of 2, then divided by the natural log of 2 is equal to 1. So then, the answer A is equal to this. So you got it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel for more videos. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.